I'd like to show you an activity that will get your students working on problems like this voluntarily for hours, while at the same time challenging your top learners. This activity is called Fried Circuits, and the premise is pretty simple. You need to join numbers so that each group of numbers adds to exactly 10. None of the wires that you connect them with can cross, and they all must run horizontally or vertically. So again, this is a great way to get older students to practice basic skills without feeling patronized. So here you might think nine joins with one, but if we do that, then the other numbers that need to go like six and four and seven and three, they're cut off from one another. So we'll rub that out and we'll join them around the back. So again, the people who've mastered the addition skills can get the logical deduction shown. So here, if we tried to join six and four like that, three would get cut off. So it needs to join around the back. And this is an example of a completed puzzle. Now I'll show you one that's a little bit more complicated. So here we've got, this is probably a medium level puzzle. Um, and you might look here and go, oh, that's obvious. Eight joins with those two ones to start with. But then you realize here that nine needs to go with one. So we need to connect nine with a one, which means eight can't go with another one because it needs to go with two and it needs two ones to connect otherwise. So we join that. And if eight doesn't go with one, it has to go with two, uh, which is a bit interesting because six, we would have thought goes with four. But in this puzzle, remember the chains just have to add to exactly 10. It doesn't matter how many numbers are involved. So six plus one plus three is 10. And so here we connect the seven and the three, the five and the five, and then what's left over is four, four, and two, which also makes 10. So this is an example of a completed puzzle. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the fractions version, but I'm gonna demonstrate it online. If you head to games.thinksquare.com.ae, you can click on the fried circuits puzzles, and you can play the number version, which you've just seen me do physically. And if you're a subscriber, you'll see a play fractions button. Now, there are 108 scaffolded puzzles, introducing halves, quarters, eighths, all the way up to 20ths and percentages and decimals. We'll start with easy just to see what these puzzles look like. The premise of these though is that the fractions need to add to one whole. So here you're just joining halves and quarters. And when you've done that, you can continue to get another puzzle. So here the purpose of this puzzle would be to show that there's a lot of eighths that go into one whole. And so here seven eighths needs to connect to one of these. Um, and five eighths needs to connect to three of these. So um, this is actually worth two eighths. So we'd go like this. That, that would become there and then we'll keep this out of the road. So we'll join it like this. And two eighths is one quarter. So three quarters plus one quarter is a whole. Doesn't matter how we join it. We can join it in a convoluted way as long as we don't backtrack. Um, so there's that, I'll show you some more complicated puzzles now. We'll just go back, we'll go to hard now. So here you start getting different representations. You get decimal representations of numbers and you gotta kind of yeah, work out what things might go with. So here I can see eight tenths and I understand this is one tenth. So eight tenths might go with these two. Uh, I don't see any other options, so that, that might be the case. Remember, because you can't backtrack, you can't just go here and then back to there and up. You've got to go around. Um, so let's just imagine I made the pathway like this. No, that's going to get stuck. So we'll go around the other way. Now two ninths is going to be cut off from everything. So we would have to reset the board there. And here you might look at that and say, uh, that's 10 tenths. We're looking for something that goes with eight tenths, so I can't seem to see it. But I'll let you have a look now on the screen to see if you can solve this, take a screenshot if you like, and see if you can solve this puzzle. Um, they get harder and harder and introduce different mathematical content all the way you know, from the start of fractions to uh, being able to add numbers with different denominators and, and by making them the same. To download 28 free fried circuits puzzles covering both number and fractions, check out thinksquare.com.au slash circuits.
There you can find links to purchase PDF copies of all 108 fractions puzzles or the number ones, as well as links to uh, access the online game suite, which gives you access to both number and fractions, as well as eight other amazing mathematical games and activities. Enjoy.